I'm tearing down this old gazelle bicycle. I think it's from the late 70s, maybe early 80s. And as you can see, the uh, rear wheel is gone. And that's going to my uh, uncle's old bicycle that uh, no longer has a third gear. Um, I removed the uh, cloth chain guard and the uh, Brooks leather saddle. And those are going to uh, my Union bicycle. Uh, the remains will probably uh, end up in my uh, scrap metal container. But it has a uh, unfamiliar, well unfamiliar to me, bottom bracket. Someone on the internet linked me a video to the removal of a, uh, a Thompson bottom bracket. But I'm not sure if this is a Thompson bottom bracket. Because the uh, video that uh, was linked, it uh, didn't move the axle when this uh, nut was uh, turning. And since I'm uh, anxious to find out what's inside here, and since I'm planning to scrap this frame, I think uh, uh, my best uh, plan of action would be to uh, cut this up, reinstall the uh, uh, cutter pin uh, crank, and uh, put it in the vise. First I will remove this uh, bicycle pump, because it's mostly plastic and it cannot go into my uh, scrap metal container. Besides, uh, it doesn't really work that well with an angle grinder, and uh, somebody might uh, like to have it. Next I'm going to loosen this up, so the whole rear section of the bicycle can come off when I start grinding. It uh, needs to be made smaller before it uh, fits into my scrap metal container. Alright, I think now I can start grinding. So I need to make four cuts. One, two, three, four. So let me get the angle grinder. Alright, here's the Makita. And I will not uh, direct the uh, sparks to the camera. I will remove the front wheel because it is totally out of balance. And I apologize if you are having a hard time watching this shit show. But I suggest you go uh, watch something else. There's plenty of videos on the YouTube. There's probably something out there. That's better than this. I'm sure there is. Of course I need to uh, loosen up the uh, brake linkage. I have restored balance. And with the uh, balance restored, the grinding can continue. I'll put it on the side. One more to go. The blade is not long enough, I'll flip the bicycle, or what is left of the bicycle. And I'm going to make some more sound for the last time, and then it's all over. It's done! I'm sure this will be a bit easier to mount in the vise than a complete uh, bicycle. There's a little bit of play on this thing. 
let's see what's uh, inside of this thing. The crank. And this one is nice and parallel, so it uh, fits perfectly in the jaws. And here's the bottom bracket. I need to line it up a bit so I can install a cutter pin. I'll give it a little tap with a hammer. Oh, feels perfectly solid. Now you need to put on your uh, safety glasses. So you won't get in trouble with the uh, safety officer. Now this here is the uh, left side or the non-drive side of the bicycle. So I expect a left hand thread, although I'm not completely sure if a uh, left hand thread would be necessary because this uh, might be a locking ring. Uh, maybe you guys can see it better. Well I believe it's a left hand thread so let's give that a try. And of course this spanner doesn't fit and the one smaller than this is missing. But uh, this uh, ring spanner does fit. 27 millimeters. And anything is better than using a uh, crescent wrench. Here you go. <laughs> that was easy. And it is left hand thread. And this is a uh, locking nut. And now the exciting bit. We get to find out what's inside this thing. Well, we already know a bunch of balls. A washer and a uh, dust cover, a groom dust cover with a couple of notches that line up with uh, this groove, I guess. It's rather dirty in here. And I think this here is the cone. And you probably need some sort of uh, special tool that can grab uh, onto these. Uh, not just, but it's rather loose. I can turn it by finger. Oh, although it binds up a little because of all the dirt. Time to get out the pocket knife. That is already terribly dull and you probably understand why. I use it for all kinds of things except for uh, peeling potatoes. It needs some uh, WD-40. Lubrication. I can see balls. I need another tool. A screwdriver. And that's probably more suitable than a pocket knife. Lots of sand in here that uh, makes the thread bind up. It might also be damaged. Almost there. Here's 
is the cone and there are the balls small ones how sad but there are a lot of them I count uh, 15 well you can count for yourself not done counting yet I'm going to take them out with this magnet here are four of them they still look uh, usable and the uh, grease in there is rather soft I actually got five I got three this time Four more. And another four. No, three. <laughs> the last one was just dirty grease. Um, I must say it was a bit uh, disappointing. I was expecting rusty balls. Because there was quite a bit of play on the uh, axle. I believe now I can lift this off. And then the uh, balls from the other side will probably drip on, drip, drop on the floor. And they will get uh, embedded into my clocks. I got um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 of them. So a couple of them uh, escaped. Well, they can have their freedom. So here are the ones that I managed to catch. They actually look a bit uh, gold colored, not silver. That's kind of odd. And here's a closer look at the axle. I wonder how this uh, cone is uh, installed onto the axle. It might be a press fit. There's some damage or wear on the uh, cone, but nothing I would uh, worry about. I'm not cycling the uh, Tour de France here, or tomorrow. Or ever. Actually, I find uh, road cycling speed cycling rather boring I always uh, fall asleep when uh, that stuff is on the uh, telly the scenery is nice though and that's probably the best thing about the uh, Tour de France great naps All right. I'll have a closer look and uh, see if I can find out how this uh, cone is uh, removed. So I cleaned this thing up and inspected it from uh, both sides. But I still don't know how this thing is mounted onto this uh, axle. But I suspect there is uh, some thread in here. And well, there's some dirt, but you really cannot see it. So I'm going to grab it with my uh, plumber tool. And then hopefully I can uh, spin it off. And I do hope it is a normal right hand uh, thread. Like uh, expected. Here's a tool that I'm going to use. And I don't care for damage. Because this is only to satisfy my own curiosity. Alright, let's see if I can turn this thing. Easy. Some lubrication. It doesn't hurt.
and there are no flats on this account so I cannot really use a spanner there must be a nicer way to remove this thing because this is a bit uh, drastic must be a fine thread I'll switch tool because this thing is clumsy I still need to squeeze the uh, pliers rather hard otherwise this slip well this uh, tool is also clumsy maybe some sort of strap would work better something that you uh, would use to uh, spin off an uh, oil filter Okay, I think my first choice was the best one. Maybe it's already off the thread, but it isn't uh, sliding on the axle. I guess then I will be here all night. Because it still feels rather tight. No way I can turn this by hand. <laughs> I just had a look on the underside and it didn't move one millimeter. So I guess it's a press fit and not a thread. And that means it's hammer time. Here you can see that the uh, cone hasn't moved at all. It is still sitting at the uh, same uh, position. Alright, next I'm going to uh, remove the cutter pin and then I will try to hammer this out or off let's find out what a hammer can do it is moving <laughs> all in the name of science and fun and curiosity and here's proof that is, uh, did come off. So next, I want to have a look at these uh, cups. I suspect uh, they are also a press fit. But, uh, well, I'll clean off the grease and then we will find out. I cleaned off most of the dirt and uh, rust. And I still don't know. There is something here that kind of looks like thread. But I still think it is uh, pressed in. Otherwise there would be something uh, to grab the cup. And there isn't. So, in the name of science. And interest. And discovery. I suggest we grind this thing into, uh, into half. It's kind of fun. Nice sparks. Alright. Safety goggles on. Here come the sparks. Okay. I think that should do it. No need to grind all the way through the cups. Now let's flip this thing. A beautiful cut in the name of science. If I want this next cut to be on the other side, I need to grind through this uh, tube here. That'll be a bit awkward. So I'll try and uh, cut this off before I start cutting uh, the other side. More sparks for you guys. And this time I'm using my earmuffs because this thing is loud. 
Here we go. Beautiful photogenetic sparks. I think this thing will be hot. It was smoking after all. Yeah, it isn't that hot after all. Those uh, smoke signals were just for, for show. Sure. A little bit of tube still left in there. Last bit of grinding, I promise. I think so. I hope that's enough. It definitely was enough. Joy. So here's something you don't see every day. A split open uh, bottom bracket. I think there must be a special tool to unpress these uh, cups. But yeah, I don't have uh, one of those. I have an uh, angle grinder. And it makes pretty uh, sparks. And a lot of sound. Well, I hope you uh, somewhat enjoyed my little uh, dissecting job. It was uh, fun and my curiosity was uh, satisfied. Um, if you can confirm that uh, this is in fact a uh, Thompson bottom bracket, put it in the, the comments below the video. I would uh, love to hear from you. And uh, if you want to see some detailed pictures, there's a link uh, to my Google photo album in there as well. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for this uh, little shit show to be continued. And it's the end for this uh, bottom bracket. More will follow. Too bad I don't own a, a trash compactor. But I'm sure this will fit inside the, my uh, scrap metal container as well. And I know it's it's kind of sad, but I guess everything in life uh, must die at some point. But the rest is sure. So some of the parts or the wheels or one wheel it will uh, keep on rolling inside my uncle's old bicycle. Not much left now, huh? You there, please stop crying. The sun is shining.